much of you in the layout. I don't care much about the kitchen, but uh, I got this really cute friend who likes to cook, so I guess that's a plus. I like the location and that it's move-in ready. What do you think? I'd say forget it. Chase, you saying the penthouse across from you is no longer for sale? Not to you. You know, I think it's... I thought you said the penthouse is for sale. It is. Huh. The owner's not going to sell to you. Hey, maybe you guys should rethink this whole thing. Uh, maybe the two of you being neighbors could be a good thing. You know, foster a little peace, and we save a few lives in the process. You know, I seriously doubt Jason wants me knocking his door down to borrow a cup of sugar, huh? Johnny knows what he has to do to make peace. So look at the other place. I'll, uh, let you know where I end up. That way you know where to send the house when we get the course. I'm thinking maybe a, uh, framed copy of the newspaper with Sonny's conviction in it, huh? Jack's... The owners suffered severe reversals in the economic downturn. They just finished decorating. They never even got to move in. It's fully furnished, move-in ready, luxury appointments throughout. I'll let you take a look around. I I'm going to step out and return a few calls, but let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, I, I, I still don't really understand this sudden urge to get a new apartment. I, well, I'm tired of living like a mechanic in the studio above my garage. Hey, besides, I got this really super hot girlfriend that I'm trying to impress, so I think it's time I treat her to something classy, you know? You know what? What? I'm not really a fancy stuff kind of girl. You're not? Mm -mm. Well, maybe it's time that I start spoiling you, Rod. <sighs> and besides, look, it says here, double Viking mm. range. What do you think about that? <laughs> double Viking range? I'm Italian. I can make pasta with two sticks and a tin can. All right, but can you set those two sticks and a tin can down and walk into the wine room in the next room, huh? Or soak for hours in the seven-foot jacuzzi What's tub with jets? I mean, come What's on. place go for? Holy shit. Oh, come on, it's fine. John. I can afford it. You got to admit, you at least like this place. Come on. What's not to like? I mean, the place is beautiful. There's a lot of money. I, I, don't you think that something a little more middle of the road would just be fine? Middle of the road. That's so boring. You know? Oh, oh. Gee, I wonder what has got you so sold on this view. Oh, let's see. I see, I see the ferry building over there, mm -hmm. and I see the harbor. Oh, look at, look at that. It's Jason's apartment right across the street. Wow, isn't that convenient? Oh, the two of you could, you could wave, or you could shoot at each other from your respective balconies. Look, I don't really think I'm going to be investing in any bulletproof glass. Jason's not going to be taking any shots. Yeah, yeah, but but admit it, you just you just love the what? fact that every time Sonny goes over to visit Jason, you're gonna be standing right over here, right in his face. I mean, what if when you just put a jumbotron up on the terrace that says, "I'm John Zakar and I'm gonna take you down"? I, all right, that's not a bad idea, but I swear, up until now, I'd never even considered the proximity issue. Besides, I got bigger plans for this place. Really? Yeah. Like what? Like I want it for you, for us. I like having you over at my apartment. Mm. Well, how about enough of this your place, my place crap, huh? How does our place sound to you? I love you. And I'd like for us to have a life together. What? I'm sorry, John. That can never happen.